Ah, the unpredictable joy of low-budget movies. If you know my history with these gems of cinema, then that's all I have to say. Before I get into Amateur Volcaron, subscribe and join our fucking cult. Right from the get-go, there's issues. As you can see here by the poster art, Amateur Volcaron is very clearly advertised as a horror movie. It's not just me. We all can see that, right? Right? Why the fuck does it start off looking like a happy-go-lucky family movie? Happy, warm, bright colours. Where's the doom and gloom that promotes horror? It's fucking none, is there? When a movie starts, it's supposed to lay out what the film is supposed to be. So for me, I freaking lost interest already, as this looks nothing like it was advertised on the cover. You like the fucking government, you robbing bastards. Anyways, now that I'm super excited to watch the rest of this falsely advertised film, let's take a look at Karen. Alright, she's having a wash and shaving her legs. This, my friends, is what lazy filmmakers do to stretch out the film's runtime. Ugh. This is the one. This is the one that says, I am going to fuck you so hard. You won't even know what hit you. Yeah, because I talk to myself while picking out my clothes. Alright, so that was the start of the movie, right? So that's what's supposed to hook me and pique my interest in order to get me to watch the rest of this crap. It's completely off tone from the poster and I feel like I've been taken from behind and robbed. This next scene is peak movie making. Thumbs down, ugh. Oh. God, those brothers are so annoying. Ugh. Why does everyone have a podcast? It should be illegal to start a podcast. I'm gonna tell you what's wrong with it. Who talks to themselves like this? To establish in a realistic way what a piece of shit Karen is, you should introduce us to her being a Karen to some unfortunate victims of her mouth aids. Don't show us what it looks like while she shaves her fucking legs, you pervs. Show us Karen at a restaurant while going psycho on a waiter. That's what the stereotypical Karen would do. Or show us why she's amateurable Karen. Give us something to further the story. Don't give us scenes simply to fill out the runtime. All I'm asking is that we get some effort. For instance, look at this. The actor that plays Karen clearly isn't there as this tall chap is looking on his own level. She's smaller than him. Fuck me up my arse. Up my arse twice. If you Look, if you're making a low budget movie, have the decency to put effort into it. It's low budget, so try to make the so try hard to make the movie as good as you possibly can. Let's get it together and start it for the day. I'll go do the run through of the new area before the audit to make sure it's looking good and situated. Y'all get situated. We'll get her in and out, and then we can focus on the event and the brand launch. This is a cheap cash grab. This guy clearly can't be bothered as he's struggling to remember his fucking lines. But hey, they just go with the scene anyway, you know, the one that people pay for. Again, this scene is fucking useless. Karen doesn't like a coffee. So she, she calls to complain over the phone. You'd get more out of this scene if she was complaining in person, as we'd see how much of a cunt she is to people face to face. That way, we'd see the sheer terror that she'd put onto a victim, which would be a better real life depiction of a Karen. This is the part of the review where I took three weeks out so I could get a breather from the visual aids that is amateur all Karen. You can't state your opinion, it's mean! Fuck off, JJ, you twatting knobhead. Go and drink your own piss, go on. <laughs> where was I? So we're 20 minutes into their film. Has it established why it's called Amateur Karen? Has it bollocks, mates? I'm not going to explain what happens that leads up to why the name Amateur is on the misleading cover for the film. Is there all that simply filler to extend the runtime of the film? Karen gets her hands on some wine that's from Amateur. Karen drinks some of it, and this is what happens. In my house. Kevin! Did you invite one of your sluts in? Get no off of my bed. Off, no, don't touch me. Don't you touch me. No, 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 no. Look, I don't like women. I don't know what Kevin told you, but I am not into women and this is not okay. Kevin! No, no, don't you get on top. It's not okay. This is not okay. Kevin! Kevin, Kevin, Kevin! Oh, get off of me! Get off of me! Oh, I don't want this right now. 
He doesn't really explain what's happening, so I don't know what's that. She's, she's getting ghost fucked is all I can fucking see. Anyway, I do have to admit though that this movie is phenomenal for not giving a shit about your viewing experience. As you can see here, she clearly doesn't like the wine, which keeps drinking it anyway. This film's gonna give me diarrhea. We then find out that Karen's been chosen for the uprising. Okay. I am presenting you with my bony thumb. <laughs> this chap laughs, so you really know he's evil. There is a highlight for this movie that they've managed to get Jennifer Nangles. She's pretty fucking cool, I have worked with her on YouTube before, but I'm sure everybody's cool on this film, but it's still not going to make me like it, unfortunately. Anyways, after I've just taken a fucking big fucking snort of cocaine, let's get on with some more. One moment, please. Oh, no! <laughs> Oh god! Oh dear. Oh, just let me clean up, let me clean up. Anyhow, now that I've cleaned out my anus, I'll show you one of the kills. As you can see here, it isn't too bad. There's some effort gone into it. The gore's pretty cool. To wait a damn minute, are you shitting in my mouth? The fuck is that? That's meant to be his skin. Why would you put that in this scene? I'll edit it myself so it looks better. All I did was cut out the crap. That really wasn't that difficult, was it? It wasn't that difficult of a task whatsoever, and it just looks better. Oh, I'm a, I'm like I'm a fucking magician, me. I'm like Paul fucking. I'm like Paul Daniels. To my American friends, if you don't know who Paul Daniels is, Google him. You'll never look back. Seeing that you're highly engrossed in what I'm talking about in this film, I'll refrain from spoiling the ending of this movie, just in case you watch it. <laughs> you're not gonna fucking watch it, are you? Come on, let's talk about what happens at the end. Karen and a bunch of old dude try to get low course to drink the amateur wine, and Karen goes on the killing spree and gets stabbed in the face. Then to stretch out the runtime, we get a bunch of garbage from the news and it states a real life Karen has gone on a murder spree and it's gone too far. The Amatol Karen was a waste of my time. It made me feel frustrated. Amatol Karen is a perfect example of how dumbed down filmgoers have become. Do you not want quality? You can receive qu quality movie making when it comes to low budget movers, did you know that? But it seems like nowadays, when it comes to low budget films, we get title and misleading cover art for the movie. These movies end up being nothing like what they're being advertised as. These films are rushed, half arsed. If you honestly think they gave this their all, then you're just full of toxic positivity. It's outright bollocks. No effort went into this at all, and if you think it did, then you're a lost cause. It's, this is the reason why this is the reason why there's so many movies that are cheap and misleading garbage. This is a perfect example of that. I'm extremely happy that these filmmakers made a movie. I really, really am, I, and I really do hope they get the chance to make something great. But I personally feel people make anything with minimal effort simply to say that they've made a movie or have starred in one due to celebrity being the equivalent to royalty in the U.S. I will state again though, that there are low budget filmmakers that truly do care about the art of film and put effort into what they're making. Especially if it's low budget, you would want to put effort into it because you want it to be as good as possible. But a lot of films now that are low budget, are low budget and don't have any effort in at all and I don't understand it. Anyway, subscribe, hit like. I love all your beautiful bastards. But have I had enough for this movie? Let me know what you think in the comments if you have seen this. Let me know if I pissed you off if I did. I apologise, but that's how I feel about it. We're all friends. It's all good. Anyway, just give it me. I can handle it. Anyways, join our fucking cult. See there.